welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we finally made our way to Laurelin Village, and we saw that it is true. The rumors are correct. The pirates have made their way here, led undoubtedly by Jack Sparrow himself. Well, I've got words for Mr. Sparrow, but it would seem that we've got to deal with his underlings first. So hello, buddies. Wake up, chimichangas. It's time for you to be... Po oh! Okay, well, it's time for me to be punished, it would seem. Excuse me. Uh, very aggressive there. I'm gonna have to take a break here. Maybe I'm gonna eat some... Ooh, I don't know. Some, some ras balls. Yeah, I think some ras balls sound good. Yep, maybe a, maybe a mushroom or two. A crab? Mm-hmm. Link's over here sitting in the corner just shoveling fruit and seafood into his mouth. Uh, I thought we were gonna fight, they said. Yeah, you guys can... Oh, nope, nope. You gonna come up and get me? I'm gonna put you in the water. Yeah, what do you think about that, huh? How about... And hear me out here. How about we call upon our old friend, Beamy? Huh? Beamy? An automated ally? No, I want Beamy. Did I not save Beamy to my fate? I did save Beamy. Beamy's a favorite. Beamy, come. Oh. Oh, God. 118 Zonite? Beamy's a little too expensive, it would seem. Uh, never mind. Never mind. We'll do this the old fashioned way with our spears and swords and foul language to boot. You get out of here, all right? You're gonna come slither on up here like that. I'm gonna blow myself up in the process because that's just how terrified I am of your giant lizard-like tongue, all right? You ever been licked by a Lizalfos? It ain't pleasant, it ain't pleasant. You think of a cat's tongue as being textured and rough? Lizalfos' tongue's gonna peel the meat right off your Hylian body. And I'm gonna peel his friggin' horn off of his head. So yesterday I mentioned that we made our way here for the first time, and what we did was board the pirate ship. However, it looks like that didn't actually save. Uh, because the monster forces thing, the little health bar up top, is maxed out, roughly. We got that thing down a little bit after we dealt with the menace that was on top of the ship. We look over here. Eh, I mean, it doesn't look like there's anyone on this ship. There is, yes. Mushroom Man himself is there again! Jiminy Christmas, how positively sickening. And here I was trying to have a good 100th episode. It's a pretty monumental sort of milestone in my opinion, really. 100 episodes for any Let's Play? Ah, oh, that's a long time. It's a good thing that it's a fun game, otherwise we'd never have made it this far. And it's even more amazing in my opinion that all of you are still watching. That's 100 episodes. That's at least 50 hours of your time. So, hey, if you've watched every single one, I extend to you my thanks and appreciation, and I hope that I can continue to entertain you for at least probably another 100 episodes. Because we've got a lot to go before we're done with this game. Of course, we still have to do the whole Gerudo area, but then there's the end of the game. There's several side quests I'd like to accomplish as well. Is there someone inside of this? I saw punctuation emanating from this. Maybe we can go over the top side. Oh, hello, hello. Oh no, it's filled with water. What? I thought this was like a house that was sealed off or something. It's just a giant basin. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna leave you to your devices. Uh, excuse me, bud. No, I'm gonna I'm not gonna have to deal with you just yet. I, I'm still stuck in the water, trying to get out. Give me give me some time here. Uh, I think I want to get rid of the dudes on the pirate ship first even though we've already done that last episode, I think it makes some sense because they have the big tough boy here. And what's more, I can just explode them into the water because these fellas can't swim. Get in the water, baby, it's time for a bath. You be smelling like nasty fish balls, you won't get in there. Oh, he went over the water, great. Well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can still do this the old fashioned way, even if we can't forcefully put them inside of any bodies of water. We can still forcefully put them, you know, into their own graves. Uh, big boy, you're gonna have to sit. Big, big boy, I said sit down. You get down there, big boy, all right? You too. You know, boy? Why don't you hit him? Very good, and now let's get some big old swings here. And run! Woo! Jiminy Christmas. We learned one thing last episode. It's that dude. He's strong. All right, he's gonna be one hitting me. I'm gonna freeze him. Keep him not oh, you big smelly witty! All right, you guys get out of here. All right, freaking tizzle and whizzle. All right, Mary and Pippin, you two need to chill out. I'm getting all up in my face with your nasty people breath. Uh, what should we? Let's just charge this up and give this guy the big hingle dingle. 
Yeah, push him off in the corner as well, because he's nice and slippery. You feeling cool today, Boss Boko? You feeling cool? Wow, that did next to friggin' nothing. Isn't that absolutely sickening? Uh, his first move, of course, is to grab a giant boulder. Where he got it from, I don't know. He reached down into the hull of the ship and was like, Here, <laughs> I found this and there. there you yeah, you're very talented, buddy. Unfortunately, I have nothing for you in the way of praise beyond that. I'm gonna poke you. I think this should do more damage, right? Fingers crossed, of course. No, hey, get back here! I don't have the stamina for this. No, oh, it's not gonna land. It didn't land. Why was he sliding like that? Tolan, were you responsible for pushing him? Oh, I might have pissed off if that's the case. Now, nobody push this dude. I'm gonna charge up a big old Hingle Dingle, and we're gonna get him killed, all right? Is that the maximum? We got one more? I think that's maximum. Cheech Amongus. I cannot string together multiple hits to save my life. All right, yes, you're very athletic. Good night, all right? And you need to stop spitting at me, all right? I need you guys to just chill out. I wanna just kill him real quick. Very good. <laughs> I was trying to do that in a way that was different, but I suppose it, that's not the case, all right? Nothing can ever go to plan, least of which if your name is LP, as mine is. My name is LP, I do LPs, Luke Perez, Let's Plays. Goodness gracious, don't we know they are anything with fluid, and if they're one thing, they're hectic. So we've eliminated the foul demons back on this boat again. I think we did it markedly quicker than yesterday. There was no one up there, was there? Don't believe so. Okay, back to the mainland we go. Let us begin our plundering, huh, gentlemen? Yeah, that's very good. Wait, why is the rum gone? No one's answered that question yet. Where is it? You're pirates after all. There should be salted pork. And rum, and and what else the pirates like? Oranges, oh, citrus fruit, vitamin C, so they don't get scurvy. I don't know. I'm not a pirate. All right, the closest I've ever been to a pirate was LimeWire. You get down, get down. This one's coming to smack me. No, that dude's gonna hit me. I'm about to get slapped. I need to make sure that I've got plenty of meat in my stomach beforehand. Woo! He missed still, but yes, if you're gonna take a big beating, you better make sure you got a belly full of food, all right? That's the only way you're gonna survive it. You get down, son! Get out of here and give me your horn! What you doing underneath there, huh? You're trying to run away? Hanging out with the grubs and the scud? No, that's not allowed. I'll take your body parts here in a second. I'll be Mighty Porgy Club? What you doing here? Attaching your breakfast to your weaponry. Someone ought to teach you a lesson. Oh wait, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm teaching them the ultimate lesson, the lesson of pain and death. And hey, wait, gnar gnarled wooden stick? Gnarled wooden stick could be a boon for me. Let's see, uh, we just picked up this giant claymore, which is better than this one, even though this one's fused into a rock. But I'm gonna get rid of this. I'll grab the gnarled stick, which is a 14. Equip that. Equip that. Let's let, let's get up in this in this hole here and do some fusion. What do we got? We have we, get, we have another silver Bosco Goblin horn. We have a lot of them. I mean, not right now, but we we constantly get lots of them. So we we'll use that, fuse it up, create ourselves a nice fifty-one one-handed. We've got a few of those now. We've got four specifically that are at least fifty-one, and they're one-handed as well. So that's handy dandy. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Man, the pirates really did a number on poor Laurelin Village. I wonder. I wonder if when we defeat them, if there's just gonna be some like miniature cutscene and it's be like, hey, surprise, everything's fixed now. Or if we're going to be responsible for helping them repair this place. You know, we do have the ultra hand. There are no hands better. Ooh. Laurelin Village, well. I mean, I know. I know we're trying to save the people, but, well, my urge to explore cannot be quelled. Oh, you, a pirate stuck in a well. Isn't it sick? Isn't it just sad? You spend your whole life on the seas at sea level and here you find yourself below it. But instead of being below the sea, no watery grave for thee, you get a, I don't know, what do you call this? A, a, a juicy grave? The walls are, are kind of moist. Um, I suppose it could still be considered a watery grave. We are in a well. And, well, when you consider that, we're not doing too well. What the heck? There's nothing in here? Nothing in here at all. Cheech Amongus, what a monumental 
Not disappointment. All right, we gotta be sure not to offend the well. We need we need the wells on our side. All right, it was not necessarily a disappointment, though it was also not necessarily, well, exactly what I would have hoped. <laughs> anyway, I think that dude was related to this. You got a big old stick. You guys are dancing, having yourself a good time. It would be a shame if someone, I don't know, killed you. Yeah. Oh man, it's me. Look at that. I'm the problem. It's me. Get your self out of here. All right, yeah, you want to squeal? I'm going to knock down trees in the process. How are you going to deal with this? If some dude started attacking me and he's hitting my friends and he's cutting down trees with his backswing, I would leave. All right, time to reevaluate your chosen profession. You sure you want to be a pirate still? Like you're on fire, man. You're getting assaulted by spirits and dudes that are like five foot four, chopping down trees, wearing soldier's armor. Yeah, you guys are in trouble, for sure. Anyways, as I was saying prior to my spelunking expedition inside of the, the well, I wonder what's going to happen. It's either, like I said, A, going to immediately just be solved, B, we are in charge of helping them solve it, AKA, you know, do some things with Ultra Hand to, to fix the village, or C, and I hope this is not the case, but I almost feel like it's the most likely, the Laurelin village just stays all jacked up. Now it'd be kind of sad, because I'd very much like another village where I could come barter and get some wares. Uh, five, five, oh, you a silver boy? Yeah, no, 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 no silvery slimy juices today. I'm gonna, whoa, why the, gosh darn, the Liz Alphos are so fast. It's ter terrifying, really, because they got the ranged weapon, and they're fast. Can I just freeze you? Yeah, I'll freeze myself real quick, too. We can both be cool together, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Omelette, mm, delicious. It's an omelette made of Lizalfos eggs. Doesn't that offend you? Let's do another ice berry over on these guys. Only got one of them, a little disappointing there. I would have thought that for certain, the close proximity would have dealt damage to both of them and frozen both of them, but hey, I suppose that can't always be the case. Lizalfos is undoubtedly going to become unfrozen here in a second, so we need to be sure to be Fully healthy and prepared for this dude. You know Bo's like, I got an eye on him. Good job, friend. Good job. Let's eliminate him together and destroy the wood, too. We are destroying Lorland Village just as they are, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, we almost just undid all of the good that we had done. <laughs> we almost just died in one hit on what I think is the last enemy. That would have been at least a little bit disappointing. And most likely, a lot bit disappointing. We've eliminated the beasts, and as expected, there is some sort of cutscene. Huh? I can't... I can't hear the monsters anymore. Well, the monsters are gone. Oh. Uh, Roselle! Everyone! It's safe to come back now! It smells... like carcasses! Huh? It can't be. Those horrible monsters. They're all gone. Every last one of them. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I saw everything from the house where I was hiding. Oh, this lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village all by himself. He slaughtered uh -huh. them in their sleep. Oh, I can hardly believe it. You look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you are solid as stone. Mm. Extraordinary. That is what you are. Uh -huh. Thank you. I was so relieved that anyone in the village escaped uninjured. But still, it was awful. All we could do was watch as the monsters overran our home. If you hadn't come, this village might have been ruined beyond repair. We all owe you a great debt. Thank you so very much. The good news is not all of the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, I'll fix up all the houses the monsters destroyed. This kid's act of chivalry has lit a fire underneath me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. Oh. Olsen, you're only a visitor, and yet what can I say? Thanks. Anyways, oh. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward. Not with our village in shambles. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll be sure to show you just how warm our hospitality can be. Yes, I'm hopeful we can repay you for all you've done. Uh, one day. In the distant future. Aww. 
Now listen, everyone. Laurelin Village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we all do our part, I know we can bring this baby back from the brink. So get ready, because old Bolson here is going to keep you busy until this village is rebuilt. Ah! <laughs> Ruffian infested village! Complete! So it looks like we are, in fact, meant to help with the rebuilding process. There is really nothing at all we can do here outside of that, I wouldn't imagine. The pirate ship sticks around, which is neat. I wonder if we can convert that into something. Maybe a shop? Maybe an amusement park? Maybe a medicinal marijuana dispensary? Who knows? Let's talk to Bolson. <laughs> now that the pirates are gone, even the air itself feels clean again. Truly, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. The way you fought those pirates, it was incredible. Awe-inspiring. And now that you've driven them out, it's my turn to get to work. Mm. Yes, the pirates may be gone, but it doesn't mean we can roll out the welcome mat yet. Mm, no. Oh. We have to do something about the state of the village, or no one will return. Oh. Don't you worry, I may not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. You see, my name ends in Sun. You may have noticed. Besides, I owe you... No, I owe this whole village for taking me in. And I pay my debts. It's kind of my thing. Mm. Also, this village has a charm, and I can't wait to restore the restaurant and the lucky treasure shop to their former glory. Mm. Materials might be an issue, though. See, I'm going to need a rather large amount of logs and rice. And since I want to use the palm trees as central pillars in the building, the logs have to come from somewhere else. How can I help with that? What did you say? No, I appreciate the offer, but you've already done so much. You drove off those awful pirates, after all. I couldn't ask an outsider like you to go... to go get logs. Oh. Now, now, you shut the heck up, old man. If he's offering to help, who are we to say no? Mm -hmm. As of today, you and me are pals. And because we're pals, I'm going to let you help me. Now that that's decided, I'm going to briefly go over everything on our to-do list. First, we're going to rebuild each destroyed building's foundation. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Mental math, yep, you can collect 15 logs for me. That's what we'll need. And when I say logs, I don't mean... Oh, I don't mean those from palm trees. I'm going to use palm trees for something important. I may have mentioned it as the central part of the framing. So get those logs from other trees, okay? I'm also going to need 20 bundles of rice to repair the thatched roofs that were burned. And also because I'm quite hungry. Think you can handle that too? Thank you for everything. I won't be able to assist you myself, so I'll be looking around and assessing the damage. I'm going to call this project the Great Laurelin Village Revival. Our first collaboration, how exciting is that? <laughs> no pressure or anything, but I'll be counting on you. Ah, oh, yes. Bring me the rice, boy. I will bring you some rice. Do I have much rice? He said 20? 20 rices and 15 logs? I don't know that I have that much rice. So undoubtedly we'll have to like set a honing device thing on it. Yeah, we got about half as much rice as we need. And we definitely don't have any logs. We can't put logs in our person. So we'll have to go, I guess, cut them down from up the road or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll play that by ear. We've still got to kind of walk around here. And then, of course, there is the shrine, which will provide us the warp point that we desire in order to get here in a more efficient manner. However, you know, I, I do want to check out these boxes. I mean, I know we're rebuilding the village, so it may be counterintuitive for me to, I don't know, smash what's left of it, but hey, I'm just giving us a clean slate to work from, Bolson. It's fine. You cannot truly rebuild if you do not tear down first, yes? I worked construction for a little bit in my early 20s, and if I did one thing correctly, it was the demoing. Yes, we would have to destroy the fences before we rebuilt them, because who wants, who wants a, a broken fence built underneath the new fence? No! Who wants a broken village underneath the new village? No one! I will gladly destroy all of the crates in our way, prohibiting us from having the pleasant village that we all crave, desire, and ultimately deserve. And of course, because I want the arrows too. So these logs, are these are these logs that we can use? He said no palm logs, but 
How do we know whether or not they're palm logs? I guess they don't look the same, right? Because the texture is different. I am going to chop this one down just to be certain of it. We'll see what it looks like when it falls. Yeah, assuredly different. Okay, cool. So those logs are good. I'm gonna wait on that uh, and go get this shrine, especially now that it stopped raining. I was kind of killing time there because the rocks here, the cliff face was getting all slippery and juicy like, and it's not necessarily the easiest thing to climb. But now that that's no longer the case, now that the stone surface is properly dried and rid itself of lubrication, well, we can make our way up here in a far more efficient manner. Shrine sensor continues to undulate in my pants. I have to imagine that's only because of this one right here. But it would be nice if there was another one. You know, we come up here and it's like, surprise! Two for one special? Two for... Two for one special? Nah, just the Sifu Mim. Sifu Mim? Like seafood men? I'm a seafood man myself. All right, I eat plenty of seafood. I do live in Florida. So it stands to reason that I would be sucking down plenty of shellfish and seafood galore. The only thing prohibiting me from doing that, of course, is the price. Yes, I mean, everyone knows that food costs are outrageous, but seafood, man, you'd think living on the coast would make it a little bit more cost effective. I want to get me a handful of shrimp and it's like you got to pay an arm, a leg. You got to offer me your firstborn child if you want to eat at this restaurant. And I said, well... I don't have kids. But anyways, I also don't have clothes, which is why we're in the Proving Grounds flow in the Sipimum Shrine. Uh, you guys already see me? Goodness gracious, you guys are more aware than my cat when I get close to the pantry. All right, I can't take two steps in that direction without him meowing his friggin' head off thinking he's about to get himself some wet food. And you guys are gonna get some wet food. Oh, I have some wet food for you, constructs. Oh, and by wet food, I mean a stick in your freaking face. What all did we pick up? We got an old wooden shield, no bows, and we've got two sticks. Uh, you know, we could fuse one of these boxes to it, but we'd probably be better served breaking them open and getting whatever's on the inside. So why don't we do that? We'll just drop him here. You don't see anything. He's like, oh, what was that? That cube is bouncing. All right, the cube is getting into gymnastics. All right, who are you? Who are you to say what hobbies the cube can and can't take on? All right, can you chill out there, Mr. Construct Man? That only broke the one, and it didn't have anything in it. Oh, it didn't have anything in it. Hot freaking sandwich. I'm, I mean, it's not gonna stop me from trying again because if I know one thing, it's persistence. All right, I'll bang my head against the door a million times if it means it's gonna get me a single arrow. If it means it's gonna get me a single arrow, perhaps it's gonna get me no arrows. All right, we have alerted everyone. Is this like a stone one? Yeah, that's a stone one. Okay, well we can actually do something with that. We can fuse with the stone one. I gave us a plus one. Let's go on over here. I know you guys wanna fight. You guys are launching off friggin' popsicles at me. I'm gonna grab some fire popsicles of my own. I'm gonna go this direction. I ain't got my bird friend. A little disappointing. Oh, 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 excuse me. I'm gonna come around here grabbing some sticks. Any, any way we could... Oh, we don't... Mm. Let's... Let's, 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 let's get... You. Yeah, you very alert. Yes, get wrecked, son. I'm gonna get up there with you because you got the electric arrows and frankly, that's terrifying. <laughs> I can't... Oh, 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 there we go. I was like, I can't stand to be electrocuted right now. Yes, get in the water. Very good. Now, if we could just do that, I think that would be a very intelligent maneuver. If we can just hop onto each of these platforms with the constructs and knock them into the water, it would be extremely intelligent. It'd also be extremely intelligent if I wasn't fighting against the current, but hey, you can only ask for so much, all right? Gosh darn it, you there. Well, no, 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 don't, don't worry about me. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, oh, no, 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 God, don't you do it. You get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. No, you fusing. You fusing, you need to get electrocuted! Get shocked, boy! And now I need this. No, 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 I need I need this one. Now that he's a little stunned. Get down, get down there. Are you in the water? Not in the water. What are you doing outside of the water, Poopy? It's your bath time. Get in the water! Get in the water! Okay, get, 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 get. I'm gonna need to eat the fruit. Um, it's too bad because this is all very good elemental crap. 
I can't have get in there. All right, you fusing that, making me eat my good fruits. Oh man, from downtown, Link was shot in the friggin' Achilles. Okay, so I have learned my lesson, kind of. Uh, I'm just gonna be a little bit more intelligent about this and isolate these dudes. Okay, I'm gonna flub up just once. It's fine, we're here now. We're gonna come up here, hello? Yes, oh, you've been doing squats, very nice. I see you working on that booty of yours. Ah, uh, can you get in the water? Thank you, or, or just die right there. We got a bow this time, which is great. Give me all these, thank you. Now, oh, 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 can we, can we not, can we not get electrocuted? Please and thank you, okay, yes, yes, yes. Woo, you, uh, can we get any higher? Yes, we can get one level higher. Anything up here, oh, there are some bombs. We can fall again, no, no, please don't shock me. Please don't shock me. <laughs> oh, buddy Bungus. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, he's gonna shoot me. Goodness gracious, this is very stressful. Wouldn't you know? Uh, he's already readying the arrow. Jimmy Christmas, man. These dudes are so quick on the draw. Uh, he's pulling up again. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop, please. Please get in the water. Thank you very much. You got the big old shock fruit. I'm gonna get this right here. Nope, 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 I hear you. I hear you up there. All right, I, I understand. Very uncomfortable with my presence, but that's no reason. Wow, that one almost hit me. To be so rude. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm not in the mood? All right, let me throw some ice fruit at you before you freeze me. I'm gonna freeze you, okay? Save you for later. <laughs> Or maybe, or maybe I save you for right now. Yes, you could just go pop right here. Yeah, it's very good. Get in the water. Thank you. Now you there, kind friend. What if you? Okay, well I'll meet you on the other side. Well, what is this? Oh, hello. We could use this. This would be helpful. Very nice. Now you there, friend. What if you? Okay. What if we? What if we fell into the friggin' water? I don't know how that worked out, but it's fine. We can still come up here and hit him with our giant spiky hammer, and maybe that'll send him into the water. At the very least, yeah, it did. I say at the very least, though, we are more powerful. Let's grab all these little spoils as they float to us. Isn't this nice? It's like a conveyor belt of deliciousness. It even had the big juicy dude stuff on there. We're almost completely done with all of these foul demons. Then maybe just be one more, two more, two more, two more. Come up here real quick. Now. I do have two more of these. I can take photos. I can press all the wrong buttons. It's fine. I'm only a little stressed out, could you tell? Now you are... Yes, yeah, coming around the river, Ben. Oops. Oops is right. Yes, indeed. Uh, how about... No. Just stop. <laughs> Since I don't have the accuracy to deal with you with the friggin' big explosive, I'm just gonna do it that way. Can we ascend up back where we were? From here? Excellent. You sure can. Now, where's the other dude? Is he coming the other direction? He is indeed. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now this, I'm gonna do in a little bit more intelligent of a fashion. Can I just, can I just like hand this to you? Oh, you're way out there, poopy. I'm gonna attach this here. Now let's shake it off. There you go, buddy. There you go. Gosh darn it, why don't you guys want to take my explosives? All right, I built this. I, no, no, you, you, you gonna do that to me, huh? You gonna do me like this? I'm trying to give you some fireworks for your celebration and you gonna insult me like that straight to my face? Mm -mm. No, no, I did not look kindly down upon that. My equipment is returned to me, which means that everyone's dead. So very good, very good, very good indeed. Ugh. Now hopefully, this is just wishful thinking, really, but hopefully we get some sort of a construct horn from this, this chest specifically, because I feel like it's been a long time since I've gotten an opportunity to keep any. We've done a lot of these naked shrines, but you don't get to keep any of the spoils from them. It all just well, it gets removed, and if you leave it on the ground, they despawn. So it's like, what the heck? Or hey, you know, I'll take a diamond too. 
I mean, if you want to give me a diamond, that'd be fine as well. Oh, look at this. Hey, almost exactly what I asked for. Really, it's it, it's what I would have done with the thing if they had given to me. A 55 one-handed. That's freaking delightful. And it's durability up. Oh, my. That's just handy dandy. Equip that. It's so cool looking. And let's get our reward, our orb of light. Hey, does... Does Loyalin Village have a goddess statue? We definitely have enough of these to get uh, upgraded. Almost three times, in fact. We have enough to do two. Let's take a quick, a quick gander. I had wanted to go out and get the logs next after getting the shrine. But shoot, if we, could, if we can get some extra stamina, then I think that would make some sense. Because undoubtedly, you know, carrying logs is going to use stamina. I mean, I'm no exercise scientist, but I'd have to imagine there'll be some burning of calories. <laughs> Got a statue? Man, Laurelin Village looks... Awful would be putting it strongly, and I don't want to offend anyone, but... It looked pretty bad. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. Yeah, there's not going to be a goddess statue here, is there? This is the only intact building. But we'll go inside of it. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing here. And that's the central beam that's going to be the uh, bomb trees. Okay, golly gee williker. What's up, pup? What's up, dude? Hello? Listen. Nice to see you again. Anyways, we are now on a... Legendary log quest, the LLQ, if you will. And we've got to get, what was it, 20? Or tw 20 rice and 15 logs, I believe. If we check the adventure log, <laughs> it'll tell us, won't it? It's not a main quest. Laurelland Village Restoration Project, there it is. It doesn't actually tell me how many, but I'm pretty sure that I have the right numbers. Either which way, I'm just going to get a crap ton of both and bring them back. And presumably, there'll be some amount of trees up here that will be fine. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that they have this craving for logs in such an unforested area. And really, if you're going to use the palm trees as the main support, you'd think they would be just fine for the rest of the building. All right, Bolson, no need to be picky here, truly, if you're just trying to house the people. Like, come on, man. There's plenty of palm trees, and plus they respawn too. And what about this stuff, huh? These are some pre-made walls, and it's purposely here for the restoration of Hyrule, right? But I guess the restoration of Hyrule is independent of the restoration of Lorland Village. Something to that effect. They've even got 4 by 4s and everything. Gosh darn it, but it looks like we need to find some actual trees for us to fell, because everyone loves some good old-fashioned deforestation, especially a construction magnate like Bolson. Anyways, we are going to help him with that but we're going to help him with that next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, and you've watched all 100 episodes, that just makes me happy. That's all I gotta say. So thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.